Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 20 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 is Austria-Hungary. And we are just made it to January 1943, where we've taken over Central Europe, the Balkans, and yeah, pretty much defeated all of our uh, little enemies. And in an alliance with Germany, Great Britain, nationalist Spain, Denmark and Netherlands as the Axis, we have carved up, carved up Europe pretty nicely and we are about to hopefully finish off the Soviet Union and break up break it up a little and secure the Eastern Front um, and we are actually leading the charge here and I'm not even sure how on earth Turkey made it into here but they did the Germans are providing good support to us kind of yeah but I don't have a lot of fruits for, Roots, a lot of a lot of uh, troops <laughs> I was meant to say uh, here they did manage to uh, execute a successful naval invasion in our uh, Yep, and they did uh, take over the Nordic Defense Council and invaded from the way of Finland liberating and simultaneously unifying Finland with the great German Reich yep and on our end we actually well so last episode we Conquered the Caucasus and now this? Oh, yeah. now we've moved the Caucasus army up to the rear here uh, and in the meantime we have prepared two invasions uh, one kind of along southern Russia and one all the way to the Urals and current capital that should be enough in terms of uh, victory points we're hoping to uh, make them capitulate so they're only 3% away uh, maybe together with some German advances here that will be enough uh, are there actually, can we actually see any victory points? Vologda, that's three victory points. That's all the way up there. And she's one victory points in Akhtubinsk. Magnitogorsk is three. Ufa, okay, five. Yeah, there's five here. Chelyabinsk is five. Sverdlovsk is five. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess this is probably our best bet. We don't want to, however, advance during the winter, so we've just we've kind of stopped our offensive as the win as winter was coming on, and we're going to hold up in here in central Siberia, freezing our nuts off, most likely. But hey, you know that's what it takes to build an empire. Now let's just have a quick look here. So there's some really good comments uh, down at the video. So first of all, let's deal. Yeah, garrisons wise. We made this new armored garrison division that, as the point person pointed out quite rightly. Okay, wait, I wasn't actually sure about this, so. Hang on. So, military police. Alright, what does it actually give us? Battalion. So, they actually give us recovery rate plus 20% for each battalion. So, that's a percentage bonus. Okay, so. Our, and suppression bonus plus 30%. Hang on, sorry, so 3.2. So if I yeah, remove this, this goes to uh, from 2.5. So what if I add another battalion of armored cars? Yeah, so they're, they're bonus of plus 30% suppression. Wait, and they themselves give 1.5 suppression? It says suppression 1.5 there, so I can't move my cursor together with a tooltip. But that is what it says. We obviously, I'm just going to confirm this, can't add a second support battalion of the same kind. No, we cannot. But now, if we add, like, more armored cars to the same division, right, then we get two and a half, then we get three extra, 30% extra suppression, right? 13. Hmm. So we get 13 suppression. It's gonna cost us one how many cars is this 240 cars that's gonna cost us 1,000 to one and a half thousand I see unbelievable and manpower is two and a half thousand as opposed to all right, so 13 two and a half thousand 1,000 and this thing for example gives us 10 suppression Four and a half thousand manpower, however. 
obviously not nowhere near the hardness, but it is three times cheaper to produce. Five, no, four, four, four to three times cheaper to produce. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I guess we do want to. So the theory that I had before. But that's out there. I think I saw it in a video somewhere on YouTube as well. And that's, to be honest, why I don't like watching guides. Because it's sometimes, sometimes it's just, the, I think, maybe it's with the latest patch and division designer changes in Arms Against Tyranny. We now get percentage bonuses. So it used to be that one battalion with military police was the best. Well, yeah, armored cars or cavalry was the best for garrisons. Because garrisons themselves build, like, fractional divisions. Right? So you just make a small division and then it tells you, like, okay, we need this many. But with the percentage bonus now, for example, right, and with the manpower, like right now we're building so many of these, we're hemorrhaging 500 manpower in each of these, right? Right, because military police, let's say if I remove it, so military police is, yeah, 500 manpower, and it gives 30%. Right, so the reality is we're better off putting more like four armored cars in here, let's say. And making this our armored garrison or I mean, we could even we could even build it even bigger right now i'm thinking about this there's actually no reason why we don't want to do like even more the mobile battalions another armored car well that does cost just more uh, wait is that here yeah. no that's only five extra arm experience so we could like you know, spend 35 army experience, design this division, that gives us 26. 20 from this, and then our military police gives us, gives us an extra 6. Almost like 2, and we're gonna get a bigger percentage once we research more military police, right? Are we doing that? Yes, we are. So we're gonna get even more. Right? Suppression bonus plus 10%. Plus 10%. Plus 20, so we're gonna get 40%. 40% for four battalions, right? Four and a half thousand manpower. So, for example, co yeah, comparing this to the cavalry division, which gave us what 10 suppression for four and a half thousand man manpower, but it costs us 250, so eight times less. All the way to like six times so eight to six times less production man i feel like it's worth it i mean we do have production capacity right i mean once we start to crank out these cars we're gonna suppress massively and we I mean, we shouldn't need as many now right mm, i'm just thinking like for some of these it will obviously be overkill for like for macedonia for example how much of like garrison we're using here now? We're using three of these little divisions. Yeah, so one of these is kind of overkill, right? Here we need four of but yeah, four battalions basically. This will kind of be too much. But I mean, if we just build one of them, Serbia, for example, needs two. Yeah, it kind of needs about that amount. Soviet Union needs a lot. Oh, we're, we're putting like a lot of manpower in there. Bulgaria. Which part of Bulgaria are we? Oh, is this this piece we're occupying? Hang on. Interesting. Oh no, wait, this is no return territory. Oh, okay, okay, so this is just other stuff. Okay, fine. Greece, we're using one. So Serbia, Republic, and Italy, we're using four of these. Uh, yeah, so we shouldn't actually need all that many. Romania is taking up a lot. I suggest we do this, right? So we do military police and eight armored cars. I mean, yes, it takes a lot to build it, <clears throat> but it's gonna have massive suppression. Let's go ahead and do it, right? Although... Yeah, because then... I mean, it's fractional, right? So you can build like 0.72 of this division. So I guess if we maximize suppression, then it will just build like 0.1 of this division. 
does not mean then that it's worth to just like just basically put it like as many armored cars in here as possible to like spread this bonus and have just this super fat division. Like I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments if you if if I'm misunderstanding the logic here, but uh, right, I think that's yeah. I kind of think that that would be correct. No, you just make a fat division. And then you let the AI just take a fraction of it. Because you're never using too much garrison. You're always using the same template and it has 26 suppression, for example. Let's do this, right? We don't lose anything. If we need someone to add to this division, we always can, right? Maybe let's... No, let's actually... So I was going to keep this one... One battle group, I guess. I can't remember what is this called. Battle group or click to add. Uh, so these are battalions. This is, I can't remember what this is called. But basically, I was going to add only one line, but maybe two. Oh, let's, let's go with two. Let's say this is our, this is our division. And we'll have a look. Yeah, we may use like older equipment, so that's fine. Now, someone mentioned that, yeah, raiders, so raiders, we actually do have a few, we do need to research that and kind of improve on that. Wouldn't mind actually building one more somewhere around here, but let's finish the war with Soviet Union, which will allow us to actually take territory, you know, and just kind of finish this up and then see what the state of affairs is. Not enough garrisons, okay, we're building armored cars, don't worry, doctrines uh, available, we actually have enough naval experience to do something. Uh, why don't we spend some of it on, uh, uh, okay, perhaps some of this. Screen attack, nighttime attack visibility, include bad weather penalty minus 40%, positioning. That's what I think. Efficient communications is good, and maybe inclement weather experience. Um, what we can get here? Instilled aggression, calculated restraint, signals training, Best of the best. Starting level of new Navy leaders plus two. Navy intelligence to others minus five. And new admirals begin without any personality traits. Or academic scholarships. Navy leader cost. Let's get best of the best because we are going to be hiring new admirals, I guess. Let's, let's try that. And here, I feel like bad weather penalty is good, no? This Mediterranean, Mediterranean should have pretty good weather most of the time. Okay, let's just hold off on this then. Let's have a look at these then. What do we have? Fleet in being. A strong fleet focused around battleships means that we're a force to be reckoned with when deployed at sea. Okay, what does that actually give us? Battleships, battle cruisers, and what? Heavy cruisers, organization plus five. Surface detection plus 10%. Then we we'll get submarine operations, undersea blockade. Right, this is torpedo reveal chance minus five percent surface detection for submarines plus five percent organization plus ten surface detection organization surface detection organization torpedo reveal chance surface detection raiding efficiency organization submarine offensive convoy interdiction under sea i mean our main naval yeah, we're gonna need to secure like what are our objectives Potentially to secure Mediterranean if we end up in a war with, you know, great any of the great powers. Otherwise, we need to get to United States. That's what we need. That's they've come into the war, and they're our final enemy on the on our way to uh, carving up the world, uh, you know, and restoring law and order throughout the entire world. Now, what else does fleet and being give us? Convoy sailing, escort efficiency, sub detection. Okay, sub-detection organization, carriers, sub-detection, escort integrated convoy defense, okay, battlefield, okay, strike focus, organization loss, sortie efficiency, okay, this one is not bad, I guess, escort efficiency, sub-detection, capital ship armor, I mean, we're not going to be building a lot of battleships, so this gives us some nice bonuses to battleships, but... I really think we are gonna have any battleships. Sorty, we're a bit late to the game to build battleships. Naval AA, capital ship attack, grand battle fleet. Okay, trade interdiction against a stronger naval opponent. We're gonna focus on 
tying up their fleet and destroying supply lines to starve their war machine. Mm. It's not really for us. As soon as what enemy ships we need to build, we got, we're gonna have capacity to build a big fleet, right? And destroy them. Floating fortress, battleship organization. Okay, convoy sailing. So again, this kind of convoy. I mean, it's kind of torpedo reveal, chance surface detection, raiding efficiency organization. So this is like has more stuff for the submarines. Raider patrols, capital ship raiders, battle fleet concentration. Okay, with a strong focus on carriers and their support, no enemy will be outside our reach, whether on land or at sea. We have base strike for carriers, we have carrier primacy, carrier task forces, floating airfield, massed airstrikes, floating fortress, carrier battle groups, light cruisers, naval air agility carriers. We are going to be centered around carriers, right? And we're going to start with like 1944 carriers, pretty much. But yeah, very much. So do we go with this? We are going to have destroyers, sub-detection. We are going to have destroyers. Things we are also going to have submarines. Okay, so we'll, we'll be very good at spotting, sub, spotting subs. And we have organization on like light ships. And for submarines, torpedo reveal chance, organization. So raiding. Okay, and we have a little bit... I actually like this one. I think we go with this. Well, we are going to have a big fleet with carriers as our main, definitely, uh, main strong point. We're not going to do battleships. We're going to have some submarines. Uh, yeah, I mean, convoy escorts. We don't won't really need these. Our, yeah, it, it would be good to spot spot submarines if we do get blockaded somehow. Right? Yeah. So I feel like let's go with we'll go with base strike. We need to get to the United States and provide some project our air power there. So let's get. I think we we'll go with this one. Striking at uh, enemy's ports will cripple their ability to rebuild their fleet. This will allow us to dominate the seas by sheer numbers. Port strikes plus 50%. Organization plus 20 for carriers. Okay, what's next that we're going to get? Carrier privacy. Naval targeting, sortie efficiency. Thing is, if we want carriers, so we need to uh, actually research, like, naval bombing and stuff. Uh, that's actually another thing we need to do. Torpedo reveal. Submarine operations. Undersea blockade, convoy interdiction, submarine offensive. Is this the same? Submarine offensive. Convoy interdiction. Undersea blockade. Submarine operations. Okay, so they're exactly the same. Are these exactly the same then as well? Convoy interdiction. Okay, they get this one first. Unrestricted submarine. So this is... Ah, okay. Wolf packs. Okay, so this one is stronger in submarines, and so that makes sense. This one has like, a, yeah. So this one is stronger in battleships, or like a fleet, and this one is more, and like I guess escorts, and this one is more about, yeah. I think this is what we need. We need to project our power globally, and we need carriers for that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, striking enemy support. This one is a bit useless. Port strikes at, at the start, right? But fine. I will take this one. Next, we will get... Destroyers, sub-detection, organization, escort efficiency. Fast surface ships as part of our convoys will allow us to spot enemy submarines and respond in time. Detection is the key to eliminating the submarine nuisance. The escort patrols... Uh, I feel like submarine operations are mandatory tree, so I'll take this one. We do not need to engage the enemy fleet head-on to win the war because they rely on, like, uh, you know, they rely on these a lot, so Peter revealed chance. Strike at the trade convoys before they re can react and disappear below the surface again. You cannot fight what you cannot see. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll, let's just keep that like, speed ticking up now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, efficient. I feel like, yeah, efficient communication. Mm. 
Did we get an extra one unlocked just now? Surprise attacks, retreat. Hit an enemy before he's aware of the threat. I feel like positioning is a good one. Retreat. And bad weather penalty. I'm just gonna go with this before I forget. Yeah, it's fine, we can always change it. I feel like we're gonna have lots of naval XP. Sorry, sorry, actually I am paused, but uh, in fact we can actually go ahead because we just need to wait for the winter to pass. We got our research going, right? We have 1944 destroyer hulls almost ready. We have uh, submarine hulls, 1940s being done. Basic, basic heavy tank chassis. And yeah, again, another good point in the comments, which I was thinking about last night, is that actually we go with modern tanks Right, because after we do this focus, submarines, uh, we'll see, maybe yeah, straight after we do armored warfare, that's going to give us 100% research for armor. We then allocate one research, right, from probably this one, to modern tanks. Uh, can, we, well, can we actually allocate it? Do we need both of these or just one of these? Yeah, maybe, we'll see. But if we get this chassis, then we're also going to go and just zip down to the tier 3 anti-tank gun to get that advanced high velocity gun which has 45 hard attack and 25 soft attack piercing of 200 and this is going to be and put that put that on this thing together with level 4 engines and armor and this is going to be an absolutely incredible tank and we're going to get it early so i feel like yeah this was a bit of a waste to be honest i don't think research time actually saves though so let's go ahead and finish it that's okay, okay, military police is being built, nuclear reactors are being researched, that's all fine. Okay, we have ciphers unlocked, doctrines available, that's fine, we are at war. Decisions available, that's okay, outdated equipment and production, Danuvia 43M. Uh, okay, well, that's outdated because we upgraded the, the the production, the MIO, but yeah, we just want to make sure we actually have the new guns in everyone's hands before we start upgrading every gun for like 5% bonus. Air wings with no mission. Why don't you have a mission? Him? Keep this unpaused. Speed two. Yeah, let's keep going. Hopefully, we actually finish off the Soviet Union now. Now, what were the other good points people made in the comments? Oh, three civilian factories. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh, Litorale. Where is that? It's more like, hang on. Can we? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good, this is a good place to build our navy, so let's maximize that. Uh, hang on, so we still have three, yeah, we actually need just more stuff in the queue. Uh, more stuff in the queue, okay. Well, can we build any railways? I'm sure there's, right, in Russia there's all oh, those railways you could build. Bukovina, who's? Oh, this must be the insurgents. Annoying insurgents. Let's get rid of them. Borky. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Give our industry something to do, like all the way down to Kazan. Okay, let's wait for the snow to go away. I'm gonna zoom in so that we, we know. As soon as it thaws, logistics fulfillment. Trucks 360. Okay, loss to attrition 10. Uh, we have lots of trains. Okay, well, so we're fine. Hmm. That's right. Soviet Union is on its last legs. Yeah, I mean, they're all out of supply. They got nothing. This is going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. Wait, hang on. Why are you... Why was he executing on the plan? Maybe it was just part of the plan. Okay, let's say third army. Okay, they're just being like... Supply attrition. Why don't you, sir, just go somewhere like... 
Albania. Oh, sorry, Bulgaria, for example. Oh, no, let's do that. Get that down. Peace. Their forces there because I feel like this we need to we need to mop this up together with Turkey to be honest. Yeah, we'll probably move our second army to the Caucasus and then sorry, but Turkey is going to need to be carved up. Oh, Great Britain could stand in our way. But let's see who is in charge of Turkey. This is Kakmak, Chakmak. He's turning fascist, but we do want to gain control of the straits. That's what I want. I guess if they're part of the Axis, maybe it's okay. But too many nations, you know, it's not good. It's not good for law and order. I do feel like, you know, united, we're stronger. Uh, okay, let's go for Ivan. We can quickly go ahead and give everyone the medal of the military order. Where we can supply consumption minus 15 and division attack plus 5 because we have so much political power. What is this? Division attack. This is supply consumption. Uh, okay. Military order action stamina. Military order, yes. And. Sword, nice destroyer house ready. Okay, let's just finish, finish this. Let's just conserve supply. Sorry, I'm not reading this, which is not great for immersion-wise, but at the same time, I do just want to get this done. Sorry, uh, we've given military order for Stalingrad. Ooh, took part in the occupation of Stalingrad, but before that, these guys took part of the occupation of Novi Sad twice twice they assaulted Novi Sad division attack division defense division recovery rate nice okay. uh, there was also a good suggestion that we should promote one of our commanders maybe for the fourth army out of our actual divisions oh, come on. we'll do that now let's just quickly check upon our research so we have now the best destroyers we're going to work on our submarines. Um, hmm, do we do early cruiser hull? And start on this path. And then we do the focus for some more of these. Because we have a focus that gives us two times 100%, right? Yeah, two times 100%. So these two will get with 100% speed. But the first two we're going to need to do ourselves. Because we do need to start producing these. I mean, we need to start producing carriers too, to be really honest, and it's 1943. Mm. We do need some modules as well, though. But... After we do this one, you know, we're going to probably do the tanks. After this one, we'll see. This one is occupied, so we now have four research slots. This one will be submarines. Right, so that's kind of taken. Mm. Questionable. So do we, I mean, this will take like a while anyway. Right, then we produce, it's still gonna take a while to produce these carriers, so the sooner we research them, to be honest, the sort of better. It'd be nice to get some cruisers in there as well. But, Aside from researching the hulls, we kind of need all this. And for cruisers, we kind of need this, right? We need this stuff. Oh, we can actually get, yeah, so for some of these texts, we're going to spend... This will be an, a good use of our naval experience, actually. To just power through these. Mm. Questionable. Questionable depth charges, smoke generators, passive sonar. Hmm. I guess let's do the carriers. No, wait, let's, let me think. 
We're gonna have submarines and we'll start building those because those are actually needed. Destroyers are also needed. So we don't have the dockyard capacity yet to build these anyway. Nor do we have the airplanes. So we could maybe hold off. Let's build cruisers then. Right, and then we'll wait until we get carriers and those will complete our fleet. Um, okay, this is only 35 days, 86 days, maybe even less. So this is quite quick to research. Uh, let's get... Uh, I feel like... Wait, once we get cruisers, yeah, this, we have the same problem. We're gonna need... Well, we're going to start building hulls, and then we'll put the guns, we'll research guns afterwards. Basic torpedo. Hmm. Let's see. Fine, let's do, let's do at least one hull. Although bound by the stipulations of the Washington Naval Treaty, the cruiser is still the most flexible warship. This hull allows construction of light cruisers for screening and scouting, or heavy cruisers to support the battle line. Yeah, so we've got, we need some heavy cruisers. Fine, we'll put them in. 1922. Let's lay the foundation of our navy, at least. No template, mechanized equipment. How much of it do we have? Okay, we do have a fair bit of it. What is it? January? Still cold? It still is pretty cold. If we go here, let's just have a look. So if we were to change this to mobile battalions, mechanized infantry, what does that do? Increases HP, suppression increases, weight always increases, supply use only goes up marginally to be honest. Hardness goes up massively. Defense, breakthrough, Breakthrough actually only goes up a little bit. Soft attack, slightly hard attack. Hard attack goes by a good amount. Defense goes by a good amount. Armor, piercing, only a tiny bit. I mean, look at the IC cost though. That's an extra thousand. Yeah, it basically doubles, doubles the production cost of this division. Fuel usage goes from 360. Watch this, guys, for 12... 0.24 Wow Fuel capacity 650 Oh wow Mechanized I mean, How many is this? 160 half tracks basically Man But imagine this, that's just one That's just one group Then we will put the second one And our fuel usage is gonna be through the roof Okay, let's hold off on that for now. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we'll just do the, just the first army, for example. Oh, why are we out of supply so bad? Oh man, because there isn't. I mean, are you kidding me, guys? I mean, come on, you. Like, there's, no, there's nothing. Nothing here. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. I mean, the Soviets are in the same position. I mean, they even. <laughs> they don't just don't have enough troops. It's like. It's like Swiss cheese here. So we just get this and then they're done. Right? Cuba joined Commonwealth of Nations. Catholic Mexico declared war on Cuba. Okay. The United States causing trouble. Yeah, let's keep going. Wait, hang on. Yeah, so let's. So we actually researched these. Let's go ahead and actually build them. So we do have... Right, so why is this not level 4 engine? Yeah, so this should be level 4 first of all. 1944 destroyer hull mark. What do we actually have? Anti-air 3. Well, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, this is level 4 anti-air. So I don't want to refit it with refit it later. Radar one. Yeah, we need like fire control. We have zero. Yeah, so to be frank, we don't have we got no torpedoes, no guns. Man. So we just produce hulls, right? Battery likes one or more required modules. Uh. 
our battery of guns. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need to... Oh, this is a faux pas. Fine. Then we need guns. After, once we do this chassis, we need the guns. Oh, God. That's pretty embarrassing. That is pretty embarrassing. Should we just change these cruisers quickly? To, to lose a few days. Basic design for the training and elevation mechanics of naval guns. Uh, Seven percent. Oh, I don't want to lose those research days. Because I mean, yeah, I guess we are gonna have to speed through like the final design. Cuba issues diplomatic protests. Our attaches will be sent where we please. Are you kidding me? Who even let that through? Enemies, Cuba. Yes. Let's have a look at. Also, oh, sorry. Someone asked me about Japan. Oh, okay. Japan is finally invading China. So I thought. Let's have a look. Who did they go with? They would support the Kotoha, challenge the Saibatsu's national mobilization, imperial arsenal, spiritual mobilization, warrior spirit, prepare for war with the Soviet Union. Yeah, they actually did. They actually did go with the Kotoha faction. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, so they actually went with war with the Soviet Union. That was lucky for us. And now they are ready for China. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we send them a military attaché? German sugar and gold mint. Can we send attaché fifty uh, and a hundred? To be honest, Germany we can recall attaché, right? Or maybe Great Britain. Wait, uh, or is it only Germany we have an attaché with base value two hundred, and we allocated fifty? Because why? Francois Dick, General Lads, Gustav Yanni, Bela Rakowski. Is that is that these guys? Yeah, Gustav. Allocates 20 command power. Okay, I didn't actually know that these permanently consume. Oh yeah, all of these. Okay, six of these guys. Each can choose. 20, so that's Gustav Yanni actually costs us 30. Okay, so if we recall our attaché from uh, Division Organ received attaché, foreign military attaché residing in our country. Let's go ahead and do this, I think. And I send one to Japan, I feel like they're doing more fighting, no? Did we spend all of our political power? Enemy has air support. Hang on a second. How did that happen? German ice called Peru is our alien German Costa Rican war. Okay, let's get this sorted out. Civilian factories are free again. Okay, where else can we build? in Romania, right? Oh, no, sorry, wait. Hang on a second. Now, this is going to become part of Ukraine. Ooh, Republic of Ukraine. Romania, ooh. Is this going to become Ukraine as well? No, hang on. Destruction. Southern Bessarabia, is that Ukraine? Good. What do we do then? More fuel. Let's get another fuel depot here. One more fuel depot here. Lots of infrastructure. That infrastructure never hurts. Thinking where best to build this infrastructure where we actually need to build it where we've got resources, right? 
this is uh, this. Oh wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not get too excited. Zaxxon is not even part of our country. Okay, so this is all ours, right? These Montenegro, oh, Montenegro actually, My Montenegro needs to be way higher in the pecking order, given all the resources they have. Okay, that should be enough for us to build for now. <coughs> hmm, Deary me, why am I suffering a lot of attrition? A lot. Venezuela joined the Axis, okay, good stuff. When is this winter gonna end? Submarines, German Rice called Venezuela is our ally. Okay, submarines are done. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna need guns before we can actually get cruisers. And in any case, tanks are actually more important. So our motorized division will require armored support to be truly effective must pour more resources into the development of new armor designs. Let's do that. That is a good focus. Mechanized is expensive. Very expensive. But I mean, it does make us pretty bad ass, right? And we're gonna conserve manpower. So we might, we might just go ahead. I mean, it could so, requires so much fuel, though. But realistically, we're gonna fight in Europe, and we have the mobile doctrine, right? So we need that. We really just need it. Okay. Come on, where is the snow? Snowing, oh, extremely cold. This is Sumatra, naval invasion. Enemy has air superiority. Oh, I don't know, we have 500 fighters in here, guys. Only 14% efficiency, though, but... Yucatan Peninsula, Haiti joined Commonwealth of Nations. Catholic Mexico declared war on Haiti. Oh, the United States is... pressing. Um, I'm not sure. I think Catholic Mexico is gonna have to... just eat it for a while. It's gonna have to take one for the team. We can't really send it help. Look at these Germans in Turkey trying to build their war participation now. I mean... I mean, should we just attack even though it's winter? I mean, it's like... It's basically free, like, I mean, there's... There's just no divisions in many of these places. Should we just exercise our troops and give them an attack order in the middle of winter? I don't know. Um, okay, uh, so what was this one? So we got these done. This was the mil military police. Great, more suppression. We need more logistics. But I mean, the war is almost over, so we might as well do these a little bit later. Someone also said a very good comment that if we get the engineers three, yeah, we get flame tanks. Actually, completely forgot about these. Mm, that's nice. That's nice to get. It will probably come later. A little bit. Rail, yeah. This is all nice. I mean, all of these are nice. This is nice. Mm, maybe we switch to this. Production cost of 12. This is 10. What's the difference in stats, though? 4 and 1 rubber. 3 and 1 rubber. Okay, so 25% more expensive in terms of resources. 20% more expensive for production, but... Otherwise, defense 34 versus 4, breakthrough 10 versus 8, so 25%. Speed 12 rather than 10, hardness 70, 175. Armor 15, armor 20, piercing, yeah, I think it's worth it. Maybe we we'll wait then and we we'll start producing these. Oh man. I don't know. Okay, wait, so we need to actually make a choice. Actually, requires technology anti tank armored car. Hmm, interesting. We do need this for the best gun for our uh, tank. 
but for that we need 68 days so this is 140 days 200 days 210 so this is about a year of research right and once we're done with this we get the 100 percent bonus this is about a year as well right so we we need to commit down this path I do want self-propelled rocket artillery though. I do want this soft attack plus 15%. Mm, these are quite nice. This is also quite nice for the ships. But actually... Mm, God. Cruisers, submarines. I mean, we do need this for the cruisers. Okay, let's, let's do naval gunnery. Basic design for the training and elevation mechanics of naval gun. We get the cannon. A relatively small gun for use on destroyers and smaller ships. 17 millimeter cannon, 14 and a half centimeter cannon, 28 centimeter cannon. And we get the 75 millimeter. Okay, well let's at least do this so we can start building those destroyers with some sort of guns. Oh god, come on. And the Soviet Union is ooh, 22%. I mean, should we just launch? I mean, they have like gaps everywhere, they're barely... Okay, we might as well. Okay, let's at least wait for March. How's it still extremely cold? Breakthrough minus 60%. Transport Tycoon have at least 1,000 convoys. Okay, at the same time, I don't want to spend a lot of manpower unnecessarily. When we pretty much won. Should we just do it though? 4th of March. Okay, let's just wait. I'm kind of afraid that these guys are building up their war score while we're just kind of standing there. Come on. Expeditionary force request to send four divisions as expeditionary forces to help us out. Uh, fine. Oh, this is like. This is the, the difference is that these are the ones we control, right? Kurakozo. Wow. Okay. Thank you. 145th Infantry versus the United States. Um, okay, well, let's... Here's an outlook. Let's have a think. I mean, I know we said we're going to promote one of our guys, but we actually do have some Czech guys, don't we? Didn't we have, like, defensive doctrine? our planner, Josef Schneiderek. We kind of need to go on the defense here. It's one of our defensive armies. We can have this guy. Yes. What else did they give us? Oh, thank, you. thank you very much, Great Britain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try and transport these divisions here then and defend against against this invasion from the Americans. Okay, we have 35 days before we can start on this. What can we do in the meantime? Let's do one of these, I guess, yeah. Anti-tank upgrade. The importance of effective anti-tank weapons was established in the Great War. Introducing a new generation of these weapons will be necessary to combat modern tank designs. Medium cannon. Soft attack, hard attack. Uh, medium cannon. Upgrades, all of these are hard attack, piercing, hard attack for all, is that tank destroyers I'm guessing? Okay, let's get started on this. Yeah, so kind of, we need two research slots for the tanks, right? We need, and there are two for the navy really. It's the navy and the tanks, that's our priority. 
right, to get that incredible medium tank. And to be honest, we haven't actually even finished getting this one out of the door. Hmm. I guess more military factories is what we need also. And apart from all of this kind of nice stuff, we do actually need to like... this as well. Okay. Is it finally the end of the winter? Is it going to be 1st of April or what? Hmm. Okay, Britain is fighting the Canadians as well. Ooh. Catholic Mexico declared war on Nicaragua. We are... Oh, this is bad. General William Simpson. General Alan Cunningham. Okay, this is bad. We are encircled. Oh, okay. Fine. Gives us some experience. Call to arms. That's fine. Okay, is the Soviet Union finished or not? Still, still cold. Come on, guys, it's April. Don't give me this. Can't be at least very cold and deep snow. Man, it's impossible to fight in this. Yeah, let's just wait. Let's just speed this up. All right, I think we have discussed all the important things. Oh, come on. Come on, soon. Snowing minus three, minus two, minus one. Oh, Mid April, really. Okay, armored warfare done. Let's go ahead and do then cruisers. Right. Give the most potent force. Well, actually, no, I don't want to do this because we need to do the first two first. Yeah, we want to get this bonus for the very last one, right? So let's go get, get the mobile core doctrine. With both motorized and armor elements now in production, we must look at new theoretical approaches and how these work together on the battlefield. Fine. We do have tank manufacturer has upgraded. Fine, let's go defensive equipment. Soft attack plus two, defense plus two. Fine. Can't believe we need, we still need like absolute, absolute ton of these tanks. We just need 10 per day. 10 per day and it's not enough. Wow. Okay, basic armored cars. Cypher for Bulgaria. Turkey is fully decrypted. Non-aggression path from Turkey. Rejected. Um, shall we do United States? Hang on. Cryptology. Yes. United States. Let's do that. Let's go ahead to be honest. Do machine assisted, machine assisted encryption. Oh, okay, I think we're done with uh, this, sir. Where is he? Yeah, okay. The Americans finally showing their true face. Oh, hang on. Are we landing? No, we're not. Yeah, but there is a lot of forces here. Uh, okay, let's... Can we... Okay, that's it. Is that the end of winter? Yes. No. Is it, is this deep snow still? Kiss. Surely not in southern Russia, though. Right, sir, let's go. Oh, cruiser hull done. Okay, let's do the next cruiser hull as well, and then we get 100% for two of these. Fine, there's the 1936 cruiser hull. The next generation of cruisers features new engine arrangements that improve survivability, as well as space for dedicated aircraft facilities. Let's do that. Okay, you sir, fine. I'm just gonna get in there. I mean, there is deep snow still in places. But that's it. Victory cannot wait. Let's go, guys. Let's just go. go. Guatemala has capitulated. These are dark times. Naval gunnery. Okay, fine. We at least have some sort of guns. 
Um, we will. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on modern tank chassis. 338 days. A modernized chassis that borrows heavily from previous medium tanks, but puts a much bigger emphasis on speed and maneuverability while also allowing for more armor and bigger guns than usually carried on medium tanks. The result is a vehicle that will fill a wide variety of roles. Excellent modern tank. Let's go ahead and do that. We have 333 days during which we need to produce like 10 per day. We'll, we'll shoot, produce three, three and a half thousand tanks. Yeah, so we'd actually upgrade our entire, uh, our entire, oops, entire fleet of tanks to the 1943 variant and then immediately start upgrading to modern tanks. Okay, let's just push, push, push. Yeah, that's it. Okay, the snow should be going away now. Let's push. Gans the Nubis. Let's get high velocity guns here. This is piercing, heavy piercing plus five percent. Unfortunately, it doesn't look. Well, let me see. I'll just speed up because we're coming up on the hour. But I did want to just grab the Soviet Union at the, in this episode. Come on, give us. It's at one percent they have left. Okay, actually, let's take this opportunity, maybe. We capitulate them in the next episode. Let's just have a look at the war. So we lost 166,000 men so far. Mm, half of, more than half slightly, to the Soviet Union. Kingdom of Romania actually took 40,000. That's, yeah, that's because we played that badly there. That could have been 20,000 easily. Same with Greece. Like, we just kind of messed that up, to be honest. Uh, Soviet Union overall lost 6 million men. 2.1 million from Austria-Hungary. German Reich, 1.6 million, respectable. I think, yeah, so yeah, all of these, actually, well, until Canada capitulates, I guess this is not gonna end the war. Losses, overall they lost 10 million. German Reich lost 800,000, 400,000 Soviet Union. Great Britain lost 300,000. Okay, 1940s, and we have 300% bonus, so we've got 90 days. Let's go, 1944 submarine hull. Increased test depth and efficient layouts will be features of the modern submarines. Taking advantage of field experience to select appropriate armaments and engines. Let's do it. Let's go, okay, maybe we, even if we run over the hour a little bit, I just do want to take, take the Soviet Union in this episode. Come on. Right, anti tank upgrade. I'm just gonna go ahead and do more of this. Okay, anti tank upgrade. Let's go get level tier 2 38M 50mm anti tank guns. Larger caliber guns to, com to combat heavier tanks with sloped armor. What is the piercing 90? Putting up a decent fight, actually. I'm not sure how, though. Okay, let's get Ufa, for example. Hopefully, that will. Shurakozo. Kind of doing it to. Uh, yeah, let's just. Let's, yeah, let's kind of get Ufa. And that gives us a supply point and some victory points. Should be. Ooh, Catholic Mexico is justifying against us. Okay. We need to be ever vigilant. You piss off. Okay, let's get Ufa. Is that gonna capitulate them? Yes, yes. Soviet Union has capitulated, giving us access to 50% of their stockpiled equipment, 150 trains, nice, nine and a half thousand of sorts of infantry equipment, and four and a half thousand of other things, including 819 interwar armored cars, 443 improved artilleries, advanced artillery, improved anti tank, basic armored cars, 138 of them. Civilian trains, anti-tanks, improved clo uh, support. Okay. 
quite a bit of things. Otto von Habsburg has announced that the cowardly Soviet nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Hungarian forces throughout the country. The Soviet government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and Austria-Hungary is now in control of their home area. Though the war against the remains of the Comintern continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Axis. Great news. Okay, so... I want... all of Greece. For sure. I mean, Albania is already ours. What? Kingdom of Romania. So this we've taken over. Wait. So... 13, so we definitely want all of Greece that has resources. Union, okay, I want Crete. I do want AG. Oh, they took Dodecanese. Austria Hungary takes. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna take all of this. Why can't we take Albania? Because it's not part of this war. I think it's part of the other faction, maybe. Okay, so we take, we take this, we also want to liberate, uh, no, we want a puppet, add resource rights, add war operation, dismantle military, add the militarized zone, satellite, so hang on, Kiev, Kherson, Dnipropetrovsk, how do we do this? Oh, the Canadians have also capitulated. Okay, so it's because the Soviet Union was, I guess, was the leader of the faction. So now everyone's done here. So how do I get Ukraine liberated? Kiev, Kherson. Why, why can't I liberate, like, everything? Satellite. Cancel all resource rights. Ah, okay, so let's satellite. Oh, we don't have enough here. No, it's uh, okay. Not quite enough. Yeah, this would be very nice if we could get to this. In fact, I'm gonna maybe treat that as a priority. Although I do want Greece as well, because Germany is gonna start grabbing this stuff. I do want Ukraine and I want Greece. That's a priority for us, right? Confiscate resources in an eligible state for 18... Okay, no, I don't want to confiscate resources. Um, change government. No, I just want to grab Ukraine. And then I want to take Greece. I'm hoping like, the German, like people aren't going to prioritize Greece, are they? Or could like Turkey potentially take it? Okay, let's... What if I, like... What if I give up this? 13.25? Okay, I need to give up one more little thing. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, I'm missing two... Two more... Points. Come on. Really? 33... Okay, Central Macedonia. I'm gonna give up for, for the moment. But we'll grab it next. Right. So, Puppet, uh, Ukraine. Okay, uh, who's this? Contested demands. Now, Thrace, I demand it. Oh, who's this? Bulgaria, how? No, 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 hang on. I want it. Okay, so again, I have 14. Austria Hungary puppets. I don't want a puppet, I want to take state now. And I want Central Macedonia. I also want this, and I want Aegean. This is all mine, Turkey, get out of here. Just get out. Right, take states. Yeah, all of these. I also want Kingdom of Romania, select all. Oh, wait. Oh, because, yeah, we're still occupying rather than actually taking it. 
Hang on. Yeah, let's take all of Romania and find kind of... Okay, we kind of do also want to take this, to be honest. Okay, we kind of puppeted Ukraine already. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. I didn't quite think about that. Uh... Okay, well, they are a satellite, but it takes Moldova from... I mean, I do want to take Romania, right? I don't want to just puppet them. I want to take them. Yeah, I want to take them. Like, I want to take all of this. I mean, Bulgaria, you, you, you're being taken over as well, to be honest. I hope you know that. Now, puppet... Uh, puppet Soviet Union in Crimea. I do want the Caucasus as well, right? Okay, Germany is basically taken like a massive chunk here. This is what Germany and Estonia are fighting over these. Okay, we do kind of wanna can we just like puppet the whole of Russia, or do we wanna like puppet Mongolia, Canada? No. Let's have a look. What can we? Republic of Georgia. Puppet Georgia. Yeah. No, let's, okay, let's have a think. Let's have a think about this. How do we... Okay, we grab all of this in the Mediterranean. We we'll grab Romania. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? Sure, it takes Sasana from Romania. The state has a demand. German... German Reich gives state to Austria-Hungary. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, thank you, Germany. Thank you. Yeah, Austria-Hungary takes... We take over Romania. For sure. We puppet Ukraine. Grab this. Austria-Hungary takes Thrace. This state is a contested demand. Turkey gives state to Bulgaria. Estonia gives state to Bulgaria. Get out of here. And here... Turkey gives state to Bulgaria. Submitting demand was out in contested demands. No, no, we're taking those guys. There's no question about it. Austria-Hungary will take Crete. Austria-Hungary takes Aegean Islands. Yeah, this is all ours. Okay. Now here, core cores the Republic of Crimea. Puppet. Where is the Republic of Crimea? What does the flag look like? puppet these guys. Can we also like puppet... How do we... How do we like do this? Puppet. Can we puppet like the Caucasus? Hmm. I guess if we do separate... I mean if we separate these guys out... What like this, right? What is this? this is Moscow? Hmm. Not sure, not sure. Okay, this is... I mean, this would be nice to get, but I don't wanna... Like, I don't wanna actually have to, like, deal with having troops in there. I, I just want the resources from these guys, right? Click to select. Force the Soviet Union to non-aligned in Moscow. Oh, hang on. Puppet Ukraine and Georgia. Hang on, sorry guys, I'm not very familiar with this thing. Are we actually puppeted Georgia. Yeah, we do actually. Let's puppet Georgia. I mean, that's a public of. So we do want to break up Russia, right? Abkhazia, we want cancel satellite North Ossetia. Okay, all of these. Where's Georgia? Where's 
there's Georgia in this whole list. Public of Stalinabad. What is that? Select all more. Okay, Mozambique, Angola. And where is Georgia? Here's Georgia. Select all. So Georgia and Abkhazia, they, right, they become our puppet. Right, so we puppet Ukraine. Kingdom of Romania, we take eight states. In Greece, we take seven states. Yeah, that's gonna be just ours. We puppet, we puppet Ukraine, we puppet, we puppet Georgia. Let's puppet the rest of these, like... Dagestan. All of these. No. Republic of Chuvashia. Okay, that will be like. Yeah, no. Republic of Udmurtia. No, we don't want Udmurtia. He's. Satellite, the Kivan Jadis Republic. Where is that? Where is. Uh, uh, okay, that's like in Central Asia here. Uh, Bashkartostan. No. I mean, to be honest, this is like Russia's greatest fear, is that it just gets broken up into these. North Ossetia. Okay, let's break up... Yeah, North Ossetia we can grab. Let's puppet them. Puppet these. Khazir goes to Georgia. Call me the native satellite of Ostiak. Surgut and Tobolsk. And that's like up there. Satellite Yamalian. Vladivostok, Khabar, Sakhar Republic. Uh, this is kind of this. Because we could just break up entire Russia. Far Eastern. Boom. Yeah, we could like break. Chukotka, okay, that's like the part. Republic of Buratia, yeah, okay, that's around Lake Baikal. Mountainous, yeah, it's for Dagestan, so we will... We will puppet Dagestan. Chechnya, Chechnya here, right? We got Chechnya, North Ossetia, Georgia. Okay. Tatarstan. This is actually quite a big blow. Uh, maybe we actually, let's see, we'll go over these again in a second. Crimea. Yeah, let's break it up. Crimea will be our puppet. Karelia. Now, Karelia, I mean, it's okay. Germany can take that. Kalmykia. Where is Kalmykia? Okay, let's grab Kalmykia here up top. Altai Republic, okay, Altai, I know where that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's think about this. Stalinabad, so that's next to Afghanistan. Principality of Transylvania, no, no, no. That just becomes ours, Solomon Islands. Uh, where are these? Do we need like a naval base? Solomon Islands, where are they? Okay, it's a bit hard to figure that out now. Uzbekistan. Ah, uh, could actually do Uzbekistan. Right, because it's a big piece. Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan. Now, uh, let's see. Tajikistan, we could pop it. Yeah, so these are actually decent candidates. Central. We could extend our influence all the way to Central Asia. Moldova. Oh no, they're part of Bessarabia. So, 
No, that's uh, Moldova is uh, no, that's gonna be carved up between us and Ukraine. Kyrgyzstan, Mozambique, we don't care. Belarus, mm, yeah, okay, but the Germans have kind of taken that over. Armenia, let's have a look. Yeah, we don't want to give anything to Turkey. Let's go ahead, yeah. Armenians should be free. Azerbaijan. We want to pop it. Kazakhstan. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We definitely got to rip this out from Russia. Right? They were 1385 though, so Kazakhstan can wait. I want to break this up first. Because this is on our, on our doorstep. Republic of Georgia. Mongolia, Tanunova, Australia, we don't really care what happens with these guys. These will have taken over. Puppet Kingdom of Romania, no, we're taking that over. Puppet the Soviet Union. 6,400, yeah, that's impossible. Okay, let's take maybe a few... Okay, a few of these out on top. Because right now we're at 900, we still have 500 points. I do want to kind of take this out somehow. How do we like break this up into republics, basically? So, uh, uh, Tajikistan. Yes, we'll break up Central Asia in the next round, but in this round, we will break up Karelia, Crimea, Tatarstan. So let's. Do this one. Chechnya, we've already taken. Dagestan, we've taken. Uh, Buryatia is. Where is that again? No, that's kind of old. That's, yeah, that's Baikal. Okay. Chukotka, Far East. I mean, yeah, this. Maybe Japan will take care of that. Sakha. Yeah, that's also in Siberia. Vladivostok. What is this? Central Asia, Yamalian, Timuria, Ostak, Bogu, okay. Venetia, Komi, Abkhazia. North Ossetia, Volga, Germany. Okay, let's grab it. They will be our puppet, the Volga Germans. Settle Kingdom of Alcaria, okay. Oshkartistan. Okay, that's kind of here in Ufa. Now let's take that chunk out. Satellite Republic of Udmutia. Okay, let's break that up. Now this is just Central Asia, we don't really care. Uh, okay, we have like a hundred more points. Hakasia. No, that's too far. Okay. Yeah, let's break these, basically, then. I mean, it would be nice to get Moscow. Although, but the same it's just too far. Like, I, I don't want to bother, like, sending troops all the way out here. Right, so let's just, let's just pop it all of these. Germany's probably gra grab some of these. We'll pop it some more. Fine. Okay, Thrace. No, we want Thrace. We want Central Macedonia. We talk. We want to take. You know, Turkey. Get out of here. You know, I'm. Georgia. No, no. We're, we're definitely gonna. Yeah, our aim is to contain Georgia, or contain Turkey, and make sure we, you know, establish our dominance of the Balkans. Like, get out of here. Demand. Right, and that's gonna be that, to be honest. You can just get out of here. Uh, submit demands. Okay, Germany has taken over Moscow. Fine, we've, we've puppeted all of these guys. Right. So we also puppet like Central Asia. Or like what's left of the Soviet Union. 
Still, still like 6,000 points. I mean, can we just like puppet this? Uh, is it possible to like break this up into some other country? Or not really? So that we can actually access all of these puppets that we have. Something like this. Is that possible? I'm not sure. Oh, so, oh, okay, I hope I didn't just make like a big mistake. Oh, so we puppeted, yeah, we did puppet uh, Dagestan. Oh, I just messed this up, didn't I? Because I just clicked a bunch of stuff and it was like 800 and now it's something else. Fine, so Kazakhstan. Let's, yeah, let's take a look. Let's puppet Kazakhstan as well. And that will be it for... No, actually, let's get Uzbekistan then. Jump like Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, all of those. Kyrgyzstan. Let's get that. Uzbekistan. Let's grab it. And Tajikistan. Turkmenistan. Down here. And Tajikistan. Where's Tajikistan? Right here. Now we are gonna grab all of this, guys. Satellite. Okay, this is versus Germany. And we wanna puppet this. Okay, like. We are gonna puppet all of this. Okay, we did grab this, finally. We are gonna grab these in the next, con you know, next time we contest. Uh, okay, we have Crimea here. Now, what's left? This is what, Dagestan, yeah, different republics. Uh, Armenia is contested, Azerbaijan we've liberated. This is, okay, this is a contested, but puppets, let's puppet these pieces from Soviet Union. So they're like a separate country, I'm guessing, right? That's what that would mean. Germany can grab the rest of this. Right, surely. Change government. Do I just no yes, yeah, pop it, pop it these. I'm gonna submit demands. Refunded four hundred. No, I do want all of this puppet Soviet Union. Let's contest it. Okay, I won the contest contest here. Not surprising because I have more points. We've broken up the Caucasus into republics. These are all our puppets. Excellent. We are going to contest this. All right, Germany. You grabbed enough, German Reich. You grabbed enough. Uh, what about... Japanese aren't getting anything. Okay, puppet. We want to... Hang on, okay, this is Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Okay, this is all our puppets. Okay, Germany kind of wants a bit of this and a bit of that, but we're not gonna let it have it. Right, we're not gonna let it have it. Let's keep puppeting. Let's keep breaking up Russia into more and more republics. Satellite Lithuania, no, that's fine, that's fine. Canada, puppet Mongolia. Yeah, let's puppet them. What kind of... I mean, to be honest, I don't really care what happens to me. Satellite Kazakhstan, Republic of Belarus, Angola, Mozambique, King China, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, no, that's okay. Altai. Yeah, let's pop it. Altai. Karelia, we don't want. No, Germany has taken this one. Far East. Yeah, let's just break up the Far East. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's take the Far East. Yeah, let's take Siberia. Uh, Yamalian Republic. Now that Germany has taken that. Timuria, Ostok. Yeah, so this have all been taken by 
Uh, I think Yakutia. Wait, where's Yakutia? Uh, no, I think that's been taken over. Okay, let's submit demands. Select all. Again, we want to contest against Germany. And some of it even against Britain, but. Okay, we have Kazakhstan. We're breaking all of this up. Now, more puppets. Can we break away break away anything else? Komi is taken. Now let's go from the top. So what is this? Soviet Union in Stavropol. Yeah, Germany obviously wants these. We're not gonna let it have it. Um Kyrgyzstan is what? Uh, I think we've already taken it, or is that Kyrgyzstan? That's uh, maybe it's part of part of something else. Austria-Hungary satellites. Oh, we already chosen that, have we? It's just we're contesting that with Germany. Okay. Uh, Germany has taken over Altai. Are we doing that? Yeah, we have already. Yeah, we already picked this. So the Soviet Union, so German Reich goes up to where then? So I kinda I kinda I kinda got lost guys. Like it says Soviet Union over here. No, but this is all Germany now. Not sure. Yeah, that's kind of not sure what they mean by Soviet Union when it says that here. Yeah, I think Germany and Great Britain oh, interesting. So Great Britain is actually getting Portugal, not nationalist Spain. Fine, we've puppeted all of this, I guess. Yeah, even this we puppeted. With Murta, yeah, we've broken it up as much as we can. I mean, the Germans are gonna struggle. I mean, that's good. Yeah, let, let them stretch themselves thin. And we somehow managed to puppet the Far East. But whatever, we don't want to defend that. That's just... Just for fun. Okay, Germany has taken this. Okay, let's go ahead and submit demands. Select all. Demand. Right, we still want everything we said we wanted. We want Albania though. How's that? Well, that's ours anyway, is it? Is it not part of this war? Or what's the. Okay, I feel like that's it, right? Okay, so everyone's left. That's it, guys. Okay. We have broken up the Red Menace. Let's go confirm and exit, right? Let's pause. May 1943, guys. Treaty of Moscow. Austria-Hungary took 15 states. That's it. Albania is ours. Greece is ours. All of this. Romania is ours. Ukraine. Hungary and Russia. Nice. And then we've broken up all of these satellites here. Free state of Georgia. Yeah, broken up the Caucasus, all under our influence. All right. So Kazakhstan, Khanet, Uzbekistan, all our puppets. Annexed, 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 puppeted. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Germans were here. German Reich. Wow, they got a lot of lemons around there for sure. White Siberia, independent state of the Far East. Nice, great Mongolian state here. Great. Now, uh, yeah, guys, congratulations, everyone. This and this it remains a problem. But otherwise, yeah, guys, we're well past the hour, so uh, thanks all for watching. I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the future brings for the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But finally, we're, well, kind of at peace, right? Yeah, the United States remains a menace. French commune, okay, somewhere down in the South Indian Pacific, South Indian Ocean. Okay, Albania is part of the Chinese United Front still, so China needs to be defeated for us to really take it. 
And then we got Communist China in here also fighting against us. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see what's next, guys. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll hope to see you in the next episode. But bye for now.